This is uh, Tuesday, uh, what is it, the 16th. Uh, the wheels, the new wheels, as you can see, much better. And I don't have them mounted, they're just leaning against the shelf. I just got them out and got them aired up. Pretty good. I'll have to get an axle. Got another set of gimbal pins in. Uh, looks pretty good to me. I'm real happy. Real happy. Uh, because just eyeballing it with this pot, I can get two on each one of these racks installed. So that means that uh, so far I can get six of these pots in this oven. And I'm still putting racks in it. And I can see now that if I if I build my shelves correctly, I can have several different configurations of shelving. And so now's the time to get these pins in and, and get all those options available. You may not even put a gimbal on that pin for a while, but it'll be there if you need it. Now's the time to get these pins in the walls. I got the axle cut, got it installed. Well, friend Lee Sachs is going to thread the ends of it for me tomorrow. But uh, you can see how much better it looks. Riding up high. Up at waist height. It looks almost like the SketchUp drawing. Maybe a little bigger on top than the SketchUp drawing. But that's okay. I've got six pots so far and crammed into that thing and I bet I can get another four more. To our friend Fish in Flower Mound. If you watch this clip, you're looking at neon going on your sign, buddy. Look at awful sharp. These guys work all day in 100 degree weather putting up the tube supports. This puppy may be burning tomorrow night. Really looks good. Uh, five sets of uh, pinion points in the oven. I went ahead and put another rod in like I did at the front on this back part. This is at the same height as the front one. Uh, I might be able to put a great big grate in here at some future point. I'm not going to fool with it right now. But that's the reason there's another rod back here. Plus, I can use that same system on the front of just the hanging wires on this rod, too. Which I'm getting the feeling more and more is going to come in handy. And then, uh, one last shot of the old wheels up on the old cart. Notice that it's still sitting on this spool. If I roll her back and carefully sit her on the floor, I'm almost just straight up and down. Still off by a little bit, but not too much. You could jack up the back end if you were on the equator on a 2x4. Put your wheels up on that two foot rod and get that last few degrees. Uh, rolls really, really well. Really, really well. It's also sliding off the thing because it's pretty steep and it's not fastened on there. So that's it for today.